Hi, it's Jen from the ECCDC, and today I'm going to invite our summer intern, Emily, to participate in a Natural Loose Parts Activity Challenge. Hi there, my name is Emily, and I am currently a student intern at the ECCDC, and today I'm in a challenge with Jen to use loose parts in nature. Something that I see a lot in my neighborhood while I'm out walking are pine cones. I'm sure Emily will figure out some fun things to do with these. I'll be using this ruler stick to measure some pine cones that I found while I was on my walk. It takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pine cones to fill this ruler stick. Now I challenge Jen to do something with stones. Along the side of my house, there's actually these really cool reddish rocks that I'm sure I can do something fun with. I also have lots of these little tiny pebbles. I wonder what I can do with those. I have to say that my favorite rocks to do something creative with are the ones that you can find at the beach or along the shoreline. I like to turn them into fish, add de decorative details. I really like painting with the dots. This provocation idea has a mirror and both types of rocks that I found near my house and one of the painted rocks as an inspiration. I love how you can see the clouds in the mirror and if you listen you can hear the birds chirping such a peaceful place to manipulate rocks and create art another thing you can do with rocks and some bark is to create little houses and mushrooms for in a fairy garden you can also paint rocks and put them in your neighbor's gardens have you ever wondered why Sticks are such great loose parts. Emily, what do you think you could do with these sticks? I'll be using the loose part sticks to support letter recognition. And now I challenge Jen to do something with bark. For this activity, I've chosen some strips of bark. I have a basin with water and I also have the rocks that I used earlier. I would like to do an activity on sinking and floating. As you can see, the bark floats nicely on the top of the water. If I add these rocks, do we think it's going to float or will it sink to the bottom? Oh, it looks like it sunk. I use the smaller rocks. Will it float or it will sink? Oh, some fell off. So as you can see, you can put several small rocks on top of the bark and it will still float. But a larger rock will sink it to the bottom. Thank you so much. We had a lot of fun today challenging each other to create activities using natural loose parts. We would love for you to share your ideas with us. You can share it on our Facebook page or on Instagram. We would love to hear from you.